What's up, Butternut? Agent Anderson with a butternut squash soup that'll surely warm your bones on these cold winter days. It's a great starter for any holiday feast and it's real easy to do. So let's get started. I've got my oven preheating to 450 and I've gone ahead and peeled and seeded this butternut and that gave me about a pound and a half of squash. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of salt about a half a teaspoon and then I'm going to drizzle that with some melted butter or olive oil that was a quarter cup and then I'm going to sprinkle all of that with a little bit of brown sugar no spin required that's going to be about three tablespoons brown sugar I'm just going to toss that all together that sugar is going to get all caramely on there and get some real nice flavor in our soup. Now I'm going to spread my squash out on this baking sheet. I don't want to crowd it or it'll get too watery. Also, yeah, I don't want to have too much squash on here or it'll just be a pool of juice down there and I won't get good color on here. That color is flavor. So I'm going to pop this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 450 degrees or until I get some real nice caramelization on the bottom. The top will get some color but it won't be as dark as the bottom and that's going to be fine. I let these go 25 minutes at 450 and we'll take a look at the bottom. We should have some good color. There we go, yeah. That one not so much but over here, yeah, we'll get some good color going on. You can see all this stuff that's burned on here is why you want to put the foil or a sill pad or something down. You can go longer and get more caramelization. You can turn on the broiler and get some on the top. That's all up to you. You're not really going to overcook this at all. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to go ahead and grate up some ginger with this microplane. If you keep your ginger in the freezer, this is real easy to do. No need to even peel it. I just want to grate this up until I have a tablespoon or two. Now let's put this soup together and it's real easy to do. But before I get started, a quick shout out to Marcy and Tim for contributing to the channel with this sweet induction cooktop. So now I want to start out with two tablespoons of butter. To which I'm going to add one chopped up medium onion, medium smallish onion. I'm just going to let that cook down, soften those onions up. Just oh, my onions are nice and soft. I'm going to add two cloves of rough chopped garlic. my roasted squash and by the way if you just wanted to serve up some squash this is really good as is I'm just gonna cook that for a minute or two to get that garlic warmed up and then I'm gonna add four cups of vegetable or chicken stock. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of my grated ginger. It's a little fluffy so I'm just going to pack it down make sure I get a tablespoon of that in there. Then with the same little microplane grater just over the pan, I'm going to grate some fresh nutmeg. Not a lot. I'm not trying to make a pumpkin pie here. But this is probably going to be a quarter teaspoon of fresh grated nutmeg. Half a teaspoon if you're using pre-ground. Some fresh ground black pepper. 
and maybe half a teaspoon. That's all up to you. Then I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Now the simmering time is going to vary depending on how thick your squash pieces are and how long you roasted them before. The real point here is to get everything very, very tender. So just test with a knife and make sure there's absolutely no resistance or crunchiness left in those. And that's how you know it's ready. It should take 15 to 30 minutes. Now that we're done simmering, everything is nice and tender, it's time to blend this soup up. If you don't have a stick blender, you can do this in a regular blender. Just make sure you either let this cool down before you do it, or you only fill it up about halfway, because when you turn that on, if this is hot, it's going to expand and it can be very, very messy and dangerous. looks just great. Really, really smooth. No lumps at all. Now I'm going to stir in a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And this amount's going to vary depending on how sweet your squash was and your personal taste. So we'll get that all dissolved in there and then we'll give this a taste for final seasoning. Touch more sugar. This is a savory. You don't want to, I mean, if you want to make it very sweet, feel free, but I like it just slightly sweet. I also want a little more ginger in there. I'll just grate that straight into there. Touch more nutmeg. And lastly, but certainly not least, we're going to put in about a cup of heavy cream. Now, if you want to keep this vegan, Go ahead and use coconut milk and coconut oil rather than the butter. And it's every bit as good. Now we can garnish this with a little cream or sour cream. Just give a little wop. Something sort of like that. Then maybe hit that with a little chopstick. Oh yeah. And then I like a little paprika, preferably smoked, rained in from high above. And that's the dish. I hope you try this, and I hope you like it. And if you do, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.